There's a particular passage in the book where you talk about a phone call that you got from the governor during the height of this when everybody was uh, at the Capitol uh, marching and so forth and protesting. He, he gave you a phone call in the morning. Explain that to us if you could. Well, the, the day, this was a phone call on, on Monday morning, March 7, 2011. The previous day, um, he had sent his chief of staff and deputy chief of staff to, to South Beloit to negotiate some changes to the Act 10 with Senator Jelk and myself. And we made a lot of progress there. there were, the things that we tentatively were agreeing on, we didn't have an agreement. Right. But the things we were tentatively agreed, agreed on, which would have saved collective bargaining, I ought to come back um, for that. And, the, and we were negotiating on the basis of just these changes in exchange for coming back, not coming back and voting for it. So I think that's, right, a, that's, right, that's right. an important piece. We, it was never going to be a good enough bill that I would vote for it. But so it's the next day, and after that, that's, I think that matters to have that context. The next morning, I'm picking up a newspaper, and the phone rings, and it's, uh, uh, it's Governor Walker. And, um, and we've always had pleasant conversations, and this one was too. And um, he asked me how I was feeling, because I had a cough, and I said, fine. But it was a five-minute call. There was no substance discussed. Nothing no about, policy discussed. Not, nothing about the, the negotiation that he, right. he and I both knew had taken place the day before. And after five minutes, the call was over. And I hung up, and I thought, that's sort of unusual. but. Um, well, then I found out why that afternoon there was a press conference he held that afternoon and um, it, it, sort of announcing that discussions were over. They were blowing up. Gov Senator Miller had sent him a letter that was irritated him a little bit um, uh, about uh, the process, and he was kind of blaming Senator Miller. And then they asked him if, um, if he had had any, any contact with Democratic senators. He said, yes, just this morning, he said, I spoke with Senator Cullen. Well, all of a sudden, I knew what the call was all about. It was a setup to be able to say in the afternoon, I talked to Senator Cullen this morning, even though we never talked about anything that mattered in terms of the legislation. You think he was just using you? I, that's, I felt absolutely like that once I saw the, 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 the press conference. I want to ask you, you do predict that, that this style of executive management, I guess you'd call it, by the governor, uh, is, is going to go, it's going to change. It's going to go back to the way it used to be, you think. I'm skeptical of that. Uh, why, why do you think that's the case? Well, because that's the way that the 12 predecessors to this governor governed. Um, and I've interviewed Tommy Thompson and, and Tony Earl about it, two former governors. Um, and they agree that's the way they governed. Um, and I, I just think the citizens of the state have way too much in common as, a, common as citizens of Wisconsin. We have lots of stuff in common. And I don't think they enjoy this anger. Uh, and they feel it. I mean, I agree. Their coworker disagrees with them, and so they can't talk about anything. Um, and so I, 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 I call them an aberration in the mm -hmm. book. I think this is a, um, uh, it, it's going to change. Um, it's not going to be easy, but I just don't think the public um, really wants to go this way. And I think, even though he's got 52 percent, um, his popularity now is 37, 38. Yeah, and I'm not saying it's and necessarily going to be Governor Walker in 2018. I just wonder if in this day and age, if, if let's say a Republican gets elected in 2018 that isn't Governor Walker, if he can do the things you're talking about without right Wisconsin and media trackers jumping down his throat and saying he's, he's coalescing to the Democrats, or if the Democrats get in power, if their people aren't going to say, it's our turn to lead. We're going to do exactly what Walker did. We're just going to hammer him with stuff that, uh, uh, as a surprise. I worry about that. But I also say in the book, it's going to take a special governor, whether they're a Democrat or that. Republican, yeah. because that special governor is going to have to say, I'm going to reunite this state. And that's going to mean he's going to have to push off the fringe of his party, whether they're a Democrat or whether they're a Republican, uh, whether it's a he or a she. Um, they're going to have to say, I'm going to go back to the style of Tommy Thompson and uh, Tony Earl and Pat Lucy, and um, it's going to take a strong yeah. person to do it. But I think that's how it happens, and you're exactly right. That is going to be the problem they're going to have. It's going to be with the, the wings of their yeah, party. Sure.